welcome back Facebook and YouTube and uh, whoever else might stumble upon this series that I've created it all started with uh, testing out some video recording software and next thing you know I'm doing an entire fucking marathon playthrough of Frederick the resurrection of music and uploading that shit to YouTube I uh, started it early this morning I admit I've uh, taken a bit of a break between uh, episode 10 and uh, this episode as I was a bit tired there I had to get something to eat and uh, yeah, as you can see I, I just uh, smoked a little bit of a butt there I haven't had any cigarettes since Wednesday and um, while I'm, I'm trying to uh, work on quitting I'm, I'm pretty tired here folks and I need a little something excuse me Anyway, um, we're up to what is probably my favorite song, certainly on the first album, if not on both. I like this next song too, actually. Uh, all the arena levels are by far way harder than any of the previous levels in the game. This song is, uh, is really hard, actually, and uh, requires a lot of concentration and focus. Partly why I've taken a break between the last episode and now, I've been trying to guy, give you guys a raw, uncut experience that's come with, you know, a few errors here and there. Um, some of those songs I've, uh, I've certainly played better in the past, but I've also been dealing with, you know, quite honestly, a, a form of stage fright here. I don't know, I mean, I'm going up, you know, against a potential audience of, I don't know, dozens, <laughs> if that. So, um... Anyway, this song I, I mentioned in another episode, or this this uh, game rather, is is relaxing to me, which might seem a little strange, seeing as how it's it's kind of a hectic game. And that's just it. In order to uh, play this game and play it well, you pretty much have to get into a certain zen meditative state, like of mind, where you're not really thinking so much about what's going on on the screen. You're just responding to it, and uh, you also. You know, it's not enough to, like, look at the notes. I've found that, like, to really play this game well, you have to really listen to the music, and, you know, uh, that's when I get into a certain flow state, I'm not really even aware of what my fingers are doing anymore. I'm just there and playing along with the song. And and it's that that makes it fun and relaxing to me. I mentioned in, in yet another episode, it reminds me of playing b the piano, and, uh, you know, frankly, that's something I need to get back into. I picked it up pretty quickly as a kid, but I lack discipline, I guess, in my life, unless it comes to some fucking bullshit game called Frederick. I've invested, I think, between this and the second one, like, well over uh, 30, 40 hours at least that what uh, Steam has, has logged of me playing it, I don't know. And uh, it's probably the most played game in my entire library of Steam games, which is pretty ridiculously expense, uh, extensive I uh, keep getting the humble bundles and Steam always has sales like in the you know, spring sale, summer sale, fall sale Christmas sale and uh, you know games that are normally like $30 you're able to get for like 3 bucks and shit so I've got a lot of games and probably need to uh get back to making some music that's actually what this uh this whole youtube channel started as was me just uploading some songs that i was trying to make in fruity loop studio a few years ago you'll uh I, i've made some more recent songs actually that i've uploaded to my soundcloud account and you might even see me doing some more of that soon uh, a lot of people are uh are asking me about that you know like if i'm gonna make another you know track here soon which is interesting because i you know I don't really even know what I'm doing when I make music, to be honest. I 
I barely know how to use the Fruity Loop Studio software. It comes with a lot of VSTs. Each of those plugins is like a whole software suite in and of itself. There's a lot of knobs and dials. I don't even know what they mean, but you know, thankfully I've, I've found a lot of great people on YouTube that have uh, taught me a lot about that. And um, so I'm kind of excited actually about becoming a part really uh, for the first time in a sense of the YouTube community I guess I guess this officially makes me a YouTuber I mean I might not have hundreds of viewers I certainly don't have hundreds of subscribers and I may never get that but you know Damon I set out to uh, do a, a fucking playthrough of this game and I've done that within one morning here from marathon and uh, we've only got after this one more episode so uh, I'm gonna give this one everything I've got and try to uh, give you guys a good clean song here. I'm not going to worry too much about the, the golden notes or worry about hitting the space bar. That shit tends to distract me and fuck me up. And this song requires a lot of concentration and focus. And uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit mute and uh, get to the song here and try to just forget that the camera's even there and give this everything I've got. Frederick versus Enrique Banana de Ross.
And, uh, not bad. I, I did mess up at uh, that trumpet section, but I've always messed up at that trumpet section. And uh, as far as that goes, that was one of my better playthroughs, actually. Uh, I beat my fucking high score. I started this level off with, I think, around 158,000. And so uh, that, was, that was my best fucking playthrough, people. You just saw me uh, kick my own ass there. Which, uh, considering my, uh, my lack of sleep and, uh, everything else, that's fucking amazing. I'm, I'm happy with that one. So, uh, we've got one more episode of this playthrough. And, uh, I'll be back to, uh, join you guys for that real soon here. <laughs>